Hello Hustlers! And welcome back to the IBA Hustle channel. IBA Hustle provides education for freelancers and independent contractors. IBA Hustle can help you with things from startup to expansion and beyond. We'll give you tips on setting goals, doing research, planning, money management, and more. If this is the kind of information you find helpful, please hit the like button to let us know and help us out so we can continue to produce this kind of content to help hustlers like you. We also invite you to subscribe and tap the bell icon to be notified when we upload new content. And definitely share it on your social media to help get the messages out to others seeking the information we provide. In today's economy, you should remember, I've a hustle, do you? Then act on it. Welcome to day 26 of our special 30-day freelance business money mindset challenge. In this episode, we'll discuss what is overdraft protection and why do freelancers need IT? If you face the risk of having a check bounce, many banks offer a service where the money will come from another source. For a little fee, the bank will link your checking account to a savings, money market, or charge card to avoid bounced checks. Protection Only a little period of the tranquility that overdraft coverage might bring can be preserved. You should be informed that soon clients will have to sign up for the program in order for banks and credit unions to be able to impose overdraft fees. If you don't act, the register can refuse your transaction. On the other hand, you won't incur any unforeseen expenses. Your bank will assist you if an ATM withdrawal or debit card purchase exceeds the amount in your current account if you use fee-based overdraft services. Banks claim that by offering this service, consumers can avoid embarrassment and have quick access to funds in times of need. But preserving your dignity can cost you dearly. Because most banks have a set fee for overdrafts, a $2 overdraft on a coffee could end up costing you $35. Additionally, you can be charged for each transaction you make once you've reached your limit. In the past, many banks would sign up their clients for overdraft protection automatically. However, as of July 1st, brand new federal regulations will necessitate those banks get new clients permission before charging overdraft fees for debit and ATM cards. Starting on August 15th, they won't be able to charge current clients overdraft fees unless they choose the service. You should be aware that there are additional, less expensive options available to avoid having your debit card declined at the grocery shop, including Your checking and savings accounts should be linked. Many banks and credit unions provide their customers with savings accounts with this functionality. The earnings in your savings account are applied to your checking account overdraft. Banks frequently charge a fee to transfer the money, although this amount is typically between $5 and $10, which is far less than what is paid by conventional overdraft service programs. Connect your credit card to your account. In this case, an advance from your credit card will be used to cover the overdraft. If you pay off the balance soon, you'll probably still spend less than you would in overdraft fees even though you'll pay interest, which is frequently higher for credit card advances than for purchases. Create an overdraft credit line with your bank or credit union. You will need to apply for a credit line, nevertheless, you might not be approved even with fair credit. However, if you meet the requirements, this could provide overdraft protection at a considerably lower cost than fee-based insurance. Set up low balance alarms. Knowing how to protect yourself from overdrafts is the best strategy. When your balance crosses a certain threshold, many banks will alert you through email or text message. Instead, by regularly monitoring your bank account, you may stop yourself from spending money that isn't yours. Think about opening an online account and logging in regularly. You will be forced to face the truth of your expenses thanks to this type of study. Okay, that's all for this episode. We look forward to you joining us daily for the next 30 days and learn how to improve your money EQ. But if you don't want to wait the full 30 days, visit our Gum Road page and download your copy of the IBA Hustle 30 Day Freelance Business Money Mindset Challenge. Do you want to learn more about how you can get your freelance business off the ground? Head on over to the IVA Hustle on Gum Road and grab yourself the IVA Hustle Freelance Business Startup Kit. The IVA Hustle Freelance Business Startup Kit will teach you how to gain the freedom and flexibility of being your own boss and create a life you'll love. You can also grab a copy of the IVA Hustle Big Book of Freelancing from Amazon. It's full of startup ideas, including instructions to start freelancing quickly using the skills you already have. You'll find the 27 top side gigs for today's markets inside, along with step-by-step -step instructions for getting up and running fast with your business.
Iva Hustle is here to help you increase your freelance gig income. For more information about Iva Hustle, visit us at ivihustle.com or click the link in the description below. Again, if you found the information helpful, please hit the like button. It lets us know what kind of content to produce to help hustlers like you. While you're doing that, please share this video to help others learn more about being an expert freelancer. This way you'll be able to show yourself as someone who knows how to find the facts and substantiate their expertise. We invite you to subscribe and tap the bell icon to be notified when we upload new content. Please visit the Iva Hustles Gum Road page for ebooks, merch, and reports. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other videos. Follow us on social media. Until tomorrow hustlers.